Hello, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Bath Manager number 31 review or explanation. And today I'm going to upload this video on both of my channels that is Paragate Tunes and Steven Copper channel. So, hope you guys will enjoy this one. Let's start it from vsciencedccomics.com reviews. And I really love their reviews, so that's why I really read their reviews in my videos. So, let's tr start it. Our issue begins with more lame ass jokes and riddles from our two big bad villains of this arc, where Joker is stabbing a random man in the high rise apartment building where the war of jokes and riddles started, while Riddler is standing outside with Batman as a too deep mind whether or not there's a safe way in. Once again though, we see that Bruce is telling Selena a part of the story that she already knows because he's called her in to scale the building to look for booby traps where she is spotted by the Joker and shot off the building. Don't worry though, somehow she's fine and our Dark Knight discovers that since the bullets went through the windows then they must not be dangerous to enter through. Riddler isn't about to let Batman up there with the Joker alone though and he is not about to go up there alone with just the Joker and Batman. So Riddler has Kite Man hook all of his troops up with the kites of their own and we see Riddler's army kite into the high rise apartment building where they take Joker completely by surprise somehow because he had just been looking out the window previously. So now that we have taken up the majority of the issue discovering that the windows were safe and getting kites on the bad guys to get them up there. Batman signals Kite Man who activates a trap of his own, which sends parachutes out of all of Riddler's troops' kites and sends them flying out, which is just really trying to mimic the shy hook scene from the movie Dark Knight where they are grabbed by Alfred flying above. In the end, with Riddler's army taken out, Kite Man tries to have his revenge on the Riddler by telling him that since Riddler took his boy, he took his war. And then as if Riddler were gleaming into my soul and knowing exactly what I wanted from that moment, he knocks Kite Man out as he's trying to say hell yeah and ends the conversation with shut the hell up. I am all of a sudden on Riddler's side now. Anyway the issue ends with Batman, Riddler and Joker meeting up for the final bout as Joker gives us one more lame ass joke. That's it for this issue of Batman and there's really no meat to this issue at all. We have Joker torturing some random guy while Riddler gets his army to wear kites before they are all taken out and we have reached our end. Yeah, the art in this issue as great as it always is but the art is never the problem with this story. <coughs> Sorry for that. The problem is there isn't much of a story and because of that we are given repeating dialogue elementary school jokes and riddles and characters that just seem off all around. The war of jokes and riddles is almost over and where I would like to say that it seems like it will end with a whimper. I just can't because that may lead someone to think that it wasn't whimpering the entire time. So that's it for this one. But I'm gonna let re read some key points from adventuresinportis.com review about Batman 31. And this review is written by all of my time favorite. That is, uh, what's what's his name? I forgot. Ross Whitney. So yeah, l let me tell you guys about this comic book, whatever it is, that is lame jokes and riddles is just lending this comic book, nothing else because the story is not that much of stronger or not that much of that size that it will blow your mind, this kind of thing. So the Riddler 2 is a striking figure as if to feel the void left by Joker's lack of crazed euphoria, he's always seen sporting the exact sort of smug smirk you'd expect an asshole of his extremely intelligent caliber to have. And only he is no longer a poster child for physical frailty or some spider limbed Jim Carrey with Marfan syndrome as has been the case since the arc's inception. He carries the look of some shiny Irish mobster. 
and it, it looks really really uncool because at the end also when Riddler just knock out of Kite Man that looks not good and it has meaningless kind of thing because it is happening just uh, normal low budget TV series. We, uh, while reading this comic book, I used to read DC comics like I'm watching a high budget movie. But right now, after reading The War of Jokes and Riddles Part 5, it feels like that I have read or I have watched some low budget TV series. And that's why I'm upset with Batman issue number 31. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to, leave a like and subscribe. Just leave a like and subscribe and also why you subscribe just comment on the down section below.